You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. This anti-African hate that is coming from these conscious communities, this anti-blackness that's coming from the Aboriginal community, is horrible because it's not based on any scholarship. I don't think they know any Aboriginals in history who say the same thing that they're saying. And I want to hear it because when we look at the, the Black Americans of history, we see them bringing up this African descent. Time and time Go again. Go get her picture so you can look at her. I'll just have her picture up here. I'm like, you, you trust her so, over a person so over what there. Do we do? No, I don't, I don't trust. I'm not trusting anybody. I'm going off the, the historical uh, uh, data that we have. So I, I don't go off of books. We can go to uh, people. Newport Garner. You know who Newport Garner is? Newport? Newport Garner. You're Garner, yes. From Newport, no, I don't Rhode know well, actually, Shut up. You don't know nothing. But anything. Well, this is a man who was stolen from Africa, brought to Rhode Island, gained his freedom, and with him and along with other people, went back to Africa. What year? So got, uh, this was, um, he came over in the 1700s, and then uh, I think he left like 1820-something. Ain't that He was shit. a slave for like Damn, my battery. Years. What do you get? That is some shit. Die. He got stolen from Africa yeah. and brought hey. Him. hey. We got people like John Man, Peter. Uh, like these are first hand accounts. Like I don't I I, I like to go with yeah, the, the yeah. primary sources. So the problem I see in this Aboriginal community, they do not deal with primary sources. They don't deal with real people. And they just read books from white people. So these are a uh, couple of clips, I won't really speak on them, but the news clippings from the eighteen hundreds that talk about this man Newport Garner being born in Africa being brought to America, sold as a slave, and then making it back to Africa. This last one was from 1826, the year he died. So it's, it's really funny that these people don't find no Aboriginal black people in history that actually say the things that they're saying. And this is a letter between him and his niece that he wrote at the time he was living. So these are primary sources that'll show you that this man was really alive and he did a lot of good things. You know, he set up a music school. He worked hard with uh, abolition against slavery. And to just discredit these people is just discrediting your ancestors.